It was bored. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Tea Time. I'm Kristen. I'm Bob. Uh, and I'm ready to get crazy. Oh, boy. <laughs> and give away a bunch of stuff. Also, be a little irreverent. Maybe anger you just a little bit, not too much. Okay. And uh, really just the, really just go for the it. The tweet just showed up on my phone. It's tea time with Bob and Kristen live now. Watch and win something, why don't you? Now, right before we hit record, I had a piece of gum that I wanted Kristen to put into her pocket. Or, or my her hair. hair. So I put it up back here and stuck it on our screen here and there. And Kristen decided to take my negative energy and make it positive by using the gun. Which is essentially what I do most of the time. Shut on this your show. trapezoid. But I use the gum as adhesive for, for a sign that I made that says tea time with Bob and Kristen that I made out of a piece of paper you know what? and pen. The budget for this show is uh, astronomical. There's a whole bunch of zeros. No, it's no, got no. so many zeros in it. So many zeros? That That's all it has. Though. It's all it has, no. and it's got so many of them. It's like a billion zeros. Because we pass the we pass the value along to the viewers, to the chatters, to the participators with prizes. I think you should give Lentil Stew a prize for saying the budget is but astronomical. You Just really like you like clean. buns jokes, don't you? You like buns jokes. If you had said bun astronomical, you probably would have gotten a free uh, thing from about Bob. Buns. You. you, like you buns. That's not. Okay, so before um, we get too uh, caught up in uh, airstream, lost in emotion, sa- like Lisa, Lisa, and the cult team, um, a few things. <laughs> Is it lost in emotion? Tell me things I really should know, oh, baby. I know I had to tell that song. But, and this one it goes, oh, baby. Hey, Sarah, cause Sarah. Oh, that's Lost in Emotion? Yeah, that's Lost in Emotion. What? That's Lost in Emotion. You're going to get lost in the supermarket um, by okay. the flash. Oh, but so the way that the uh, show works is every week, Bob and I ask uh, four questions. And then at the end, uh, and we give them away live in this chat room. And then at the end of the show, we ask an open-ended question to be answered in the comments. We pick our answers. By the replayers. By the replayers, the people who watch the show not live. Like maybe you right now. I like my my players, but I like my replayers. Replay and play. Don't hate the replay. Hate the game. Um, so, the game show, which is what we are about to do. So the first thing we need to do is give away prizes to the, the replayers. Right. There. Uh, who's our first winner? Uh, the first winner is... Let me check the paper here. <laughs> oh, Bob, be careful. There's a bear right there. The first winner is... <laughs> Popcorn chicken. Popcorn chicken. Last week's question was just talk about something you love, and we randomly picked uh, winners. So popcorn chicken, what does uh, popcorn chicken win? I would win? love some popcorn chicken right about now. Really? And maybe some salmon. <laughs> Bear, you sound so much like Bob, it's weird. I um, ate Bob, that's why. You ate Bob? I hope you spit him back up in time for the rest of the show. Um, hey, free tea. You win a free tea, uh, popcorn chicken. Who's our next winner? Uh, Dang it. Bob's voice. <laughs> uh, Morgan Torres. Morgan Torres. Morgan Torres. Morgan Torres. What is what is Morgan Torres win? How do you spell that? Morgan Torres. Oh, also wins a free tea. I might have to recalibrate the prize wheel. Who's our next winner? The next winner is as you as we're looking here. Audiopotamus. Audiopotamus. If I'm reading this correctly. Audiopotamus. Look at what it says on the back. It says Go Bears. That's so funny, Bear, that you would write that. Uh, I'm an Amalu. You keep... <laughs> Bear, then you'll have to host the show alone and you'll be sad. Morgan Potamus wins, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wins a naked and angry umbrella. Uh, An umbrella, so that's pretty sweet. Audiopotamus. And then... Oh, Audiopotamus. Audiopotamus. audio-potamus. And then... Grill cheese, not grilled. Grill cheese, like as if it's a command. Grilled cheese. Grilled cheese. What does grilled cheese win? 
Grilled cheese also wins an umbrella. An umbrella. I can only spin two things, apparently. So those are our winners from last week's show. Uh, and this week's show needs some winners you've, of its own. You've already given something to the lentil stew. I have, because I can. It's in the budget. So, Kristen. Yes. This, let's talk about what, what we're talking about and what we're going to be giving to people today. The finger, is that right? The finger, if it's a one and then a zero... The bird. Speaking of the bird, show everyone your awesome uh, shirt. Show them your tweets. Show um, them your birds. The, this is the this shirt's coming out next week. It's awesome. Um, and I did the picture for it today, which is why I'm still wearing it. It's got um, a sparrow, and it's a sparrow is tweeting, and it says on a branch with at bluebird, and it's tweeting from. A, it's so funny, so funny. Just great job, great job to. I think it was Shangui who did this. Brian Cook. What do you got? What do you got there, Bob? Well, uh, Kristen, right here I have this amazing book. It is the Threadless Ten Years of T-Shirts book, written by Jake Nickel with uh, help from everybody. From else. everybody. That's so funny. I think I may have shown you guys this before, but if you're new, maybe you didn't see it. Um, this is if you go to chapter uh, two thousand eight. What are you talking about? like? This oh, this is an important. If you go to chapter two thousand eight, you see a certain fellow shooting lasers yeah, out of his eyes at is, you. You can rip this page out if you like and put it on your wall or in your locker. Yeah. But listen, just uh, a little hard around this it. This is a great, great book. And look, put it next to your nightstand. This on your is nightstand. Ex extensive. Extensive, expansive, but not expensive. 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 expansive. And especially not expensive for the people that are going to be winning it today. That's right, because we're giving away the threadless book today. I'm yelling. Oh, did we turn? Did we turn down the thing so that we're not? We don't sound so loud. Oh no, I turned it up. <laughs> too late. No, I Last didn't week, turn it up. We sounded so loud two weeks ago, and I was. I can't help in the that I have a booming, so authoritative loud. voice. Yes. That people just that just, just demands de attention. Commands. Demands commands and uh, attention is not synonymous with respect. I think we can all agree. Hey, so we're gonna give. A <laughs> Oh my god, you're rocking my face off without an amp. Okay, let's um, let's ask some questions. Yeah, so we are giving away to the winners today. You win the book. You win the Threadless book. So congratulations. Uh, what, Maybe this one, which I... Uh, <coughs> will you sign that which book, Which Kristen Bob? just coughed all You'll over. You'll get one with my germs and Bob's signature. I'll go get you a Sharpie. You ask your first question. I have a this. I have a this. Is that no? I'm getting a sharpie for I this have a, book. Bob. I have a this. I have a sharpie. Oh, well, that wasn't what you were holding up. There are so many sharpies in here. <laughs> I trip over a sharpie. <laughs> <laughs> Ask them a question. Ask oh them a question. Oh my God, Kristen. Enough. Get over Ask here. Them a question. All right. Here's the question. Kristen decided to take out half of Chicago. <laughs> Ask them a question. On a date. No. All right, here's the question. Hi. These questions, do you tell them what they're related to? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, no, I didn't. You should tell them what they're well, related to if you weren't paying attention. Today we did something really awesome on Threadless, and that is we gave three designers $10,000 each. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Ugh. We no more free lunches for Bob. $30,000, which is $30,000 more than the budget uh, for the show. Uh, it's okay. So, because getting $30,000 wasn't enough, I wanted to celebrate it a little more mm -hmm. and talk about, uh, the, the, it was from the 10-10-10 challenge. Yes. And we did the 10-10-10 challenge. In celebration of our 10-year anniversary, which was last year. Yep. And that's why we have these awesome books. They're not any less cool because it's 2011. No, they're not. They're even cooler. In fact, cooler. I think they get better with age. They may depreciate once Kristen starts doodling in there with a marker. No way that that appreciates the value. Look at look at chapter 10, right there. 10. The, the, Ooh, the final year. Somebody in the chat room asked, what's the 11-11-11 challenge going to be? Oh, my God. I don't know. Done. Mm, make a note. So all of these questions we're going to ask, I'm going to ask two, Kristen's going to ask two, mm -hmm. have to do with... Oh, today's show is brought 10. to you by the number 10. I made no, I made hints in the uh, tweets today. The tweets were hinting that, mm. that the show is brought to you by the number... 
Yeah, make a wish challenge. Yeah, 11, 11. 10. All right, here we go. Um, so my two questions are about 10. Now, here we go. They're both also music related, and that's just... Mine's awesome music. <laughs> It's just what I do. I'm sorry. They're always music. <laughs> they are. I know. <clears throat> All right. Is everyone ready to play? First person to put this correct answer in gets a slap on the buns along with a book with which you may slap another person. No on the more buns. buns. Cool your buns, Bob, and friggin' ask the question. They want to win. I didn't say. Who said buns? I didn't say buns. All right, here's the question. Pearl Jam's album 10 <laughs> was named after what basketball player's number? Oh, Bob. What basketball player? What basketball player was number 10 that they named their, their album? That's what they named the, the album after? Yeah, this, this basketball player's number. I thought this was sort of an easy question. I knew the answer to this. I'm not, not even a Pearl Jam this. fan. This isn't about this sports. This isn't about sports, I guess. It's definitely not Michael Jordan. I do know that much. <clears throat> They're okay. from Seattle. Is it a Seattle Supersonics um, player? Okay. Somebody already guessed it. Who is it? The correct answer is Mookie Blaylock. Now, I'm going to give this to two people. A. Coon said Blaylock. Blaylock. Didn't specify that you had to give the first name, what but I appreci appreciate it. So, no, no. No, no. Michael Jansen was the first person to say Mookie Blaylock. Okay. But A. Coon was the first person to say Bla Blaylock. Okay. So, so A. Blaylock. Coon, you're going to get a book. Michael J. Jansen, if that is your real name. And this is how you'll know that you're getting the book that we signed right here. I'm going to write the word Blaylock in it. Oh, my goodness. Just throw that right in the trash now. And then I'm going to put a heart in my name. She's actually doing this. So, uh... A. Koontz, you get this book. Oh, and your phone number. Put your phone number. <laughs> and my phone number. It's just lunch com. It's just now, <laughs> is your, like, the thing is, I don't ask what Kristen's questions are, yeah, and she question doesn't see what mine is. about Pearl Jam. Your question's about Pearl Jam? It's about the album 10. We are lame. We're so lame. <laughs> I know. Do you want to do your Pearl Jam question? Yeah, I'm going to do my Pearl Jam You know what? Right Suddenly, now. this show's mm -hmm. been all about Pearl Jam. I know, which is weird. I don't think either of us are hey, notoriously ask, Jam Band fans. <clears throat> Jam, Pearl Jam Band. Pearl Jam Band. We we'll get it. Oh, man. Sports. Did you like my Go Bears joke? Bears yeah. aren't even in the Super Bowl. And it was Big a bear who was bears. using it, too. That was what was funny. That was the funny part. <laughs> hey, guys. The title of the 10th song on Pearl Jam's debut album, 10, is comprised of three letters. What are they? So it's kind of a trick question. You're going to love. There we go. It was Bieberk. Bieberk 03. D-E-N-P. Are you familiar with that song? I am to a degree. I used to. When I was going to say, hmm, nobody is. Well, when I was in, um, I went away to summer camp. <laughs> oh, that's, no. <laughs> you started a Pearl Jam fan club at this summer <laughs> no, camp. I didn't. That's Can right. I you got okay, all so the my, actually, I went away together. to summer camp when I was like 12. And you did a talent I'll just tell show. These people. And, oh, and, all and of I had about three cassettes with me. And right. one of the cassettes that I had oh was Pearl Jam's 10. And tell them about the letter you wrote to. to Pearl Jam too. I did. I um, wrote Pearl Jam a letter. <laughs> and I told them that uh, Bob can go to hell. And you still write a lot about them uh, on, on my their blog, fan site. And my blog. And you do a Pearl Jam... Uh, I podcast. do a separate Pearl Jam podcast just about the song Deep, tell just them, about the 10th song on 10th. Tell them about your shrine to Eddie Vedder in your closet. Oh, I think you just did. Eh, I guess you're right. <clears throat> there, it's, this is on tape. You don't want, you know, the authority. You don't want Eddie right. catching wind of it. I don't need it. I don't need it. He's probably got And catching wind is a good way to say it because all that incense in there stinks. And also catching wind is a is a good metaphor for what I'm doing right now because you're blowing. Shut it. the trapezoid. <laughs> you're blowing it because you're blowing it. Um, all right. <laughs> wait. Yeah. Um, but, so, number 10, Pearl Jam, did you have anything you wanted to talk about from that? No, no? God, okay. no. 
Everything that needed to be said about Pearl Jam 10 has been said many times over in this Airstream oh. within the past 15 years. <laughs> well, when I was trying to do my research for that question, I realized music in the 90s, the early 90s, was pretty depressing. Yeah. Pretty serious. People were pretty serious. I'm still alive. Yep. Okay, here is my next question, and this is also music related, and it is also related to a... Um, Belly rocks. It's also oh, related belly. to the, some the, music. The band Belly. Tommy I'm Donnelly. familiar with Belly. Feed the tree. Feed the tree. My G sister. Geppetto. My sister is Juliana Hatfield. Juliana Hatfield. <laughs> that's crazy. My sister is Juliana Hatfield. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's you should bring that up more often on the show. She doesn't like that. That's weird. She wrote. She's such a bitch. I can say that. Darn it, we're going to have to bleep that we're out. We're going to have to bleep that out. We're on iTunes but now, it's Bob. Part, that's part of the song. I was we are on it. iTunes. I know. All right, here we go. Uh, this is also in re regards to a uh, music artist that I hate. Okay, here we go. The song that spent the most total weeks in the U.S. Top 10 was by Leanne Rimes. Whoa. What was this song called? It holds the record for being in the top ten for the most weeks. Wow. Oh, there it is. Super Mike 6 got it. Super Mike 6 got it. The correct answer is How Do I Live. Wow. And a great song title because How Do I Live knowing that, that fact. That is the song that has spent the most total 32 weeks. 32 horrible, gut-wrenching weeks in the top ten. What top Do you ten know this song? This? How do I live oh. without you? Brought it up. Do you know? How do I'm gonna get attacked by the bear just to get <laughs> get out of this. If you will, the song is horrifying. <laughs> it's terrible. You know what's crazy? It doesn't mean I don't know it though. But what's weird to think is I don't know I, that what? song. I'm sorry. I don't know that. Well, song. Well, I was just listening to. Um, uh, Give me this. Give me this. It's not even plugged in anymore. You were listening to Pearl Jam. You can't get enough. Okay, so uh, Super Mike 6 is going to get a book. Book it! Kristen, ask your next question, please. Okay. I can't oh, wait no, for my it. Hair's, my hair came out. <laughs> Sorry. Um, okay. Uh, yeah, well, you can pause it. It's live. I know it's live, guys. This is how you know that it's live, that we didn't prepare this show. It's not... This is off the cuff. Okay. In the design... Well, grilled cheese thinks you look cute. And well, grilled, thanks, cheese, grilled, grilled cheese, cheese grilled cheese, grilled cheese, already won an umbrella. Can't, can't compliment your way grilled into cheese, a prize by the right way, now, grilled cheese. complimented your hair... Today? ...in the comments. Wow. From last week. Grilled cheese. Your hair looks... Apparently your hair must look good when you're angry yeah. and annoyed. Last week's show... Did not like it. In the design spacebar, how many letters are there on the keyboard? In the design spacebar, Luna loves pudding. Got it. It was it was a somewhat of a trick question in that there are zero letters on the keyboard in the design spacebar. And why did you choose the design spacebar? Because spacebar was one of the 10, 10, 10 winners because the designer Tomas won ten thousand dollars from us. And because and when he's won a whole bunch, does he really need ten grand? When more? Bob saw "Throw Some My Way," when Bob that song by Leon Rams, "Throw Some My Way." Uh oh my god! But it was like a little more like twangy, wasn't it? It was like you're a little more twangy. You're more twangy. Oh Jesus! What's gonna happen now? Oh, Panda, I'm so glad you're here. Look. Bob Bob just told me that he thought I was twangy. What's the what's the big idea? He just um panda's kind of silent today. Throw some my way. <laughs> Throw some my way. <laughs> and he's like, I won't but and it's that's what it was. It was a won't ya. A won't ya throw some my way. Did you happen to see when? my open-ended question for everybody? No, I didn't, but... Oh, yeah, it's the Chinese New Year. Who should... Did, who? It's the year of the rabbit. Oh, it's not the year of the bear? It's not the year of the bears. I'll no, say that. it's the year of the rabbit. Who, who talked about this? Today is the Chinese New Year? It is. Yes, it is. What year is the year I of the rabbit? I know that from Crank. 
Last year was the year of the that rooster. That I shut up into my temple. It always helps me with uh Was last year a year calendar. of the dragon? Year of the... Well, regardless, when Bob saw the design space I bar, honestly tried to push up my glasses <laughs> through the panda hat. When Bob saw the design space bar, like when it got submitted, he actually said to himself, that's an iconic design. It's true. I remember you saying it. All right. So uh, let's give them the uh, open-ended question. I'll then we'll talk a little more. Way. And then we'll uh, let everyone get on with their Thursdays. You way. know, there's probably a lot of shoveling that needs to be done in these areas. Just the art area. Are you guys... Oh, Super Mike, no loopy questions this week. I know. Sorry, guys. I did the trickiest question I could, but nothing with a lot of winding. I guess we can. I guess I can show you some of the snow out there, but but ask them their open-ended question right. right now, so that people who are watching our replayers, if you if replayers, you're... listen up, turn up your earphones, pump up the volume, pump up the volume by pump Mars, up the volume dance, dance with two R's. Remember that video it was in space. I do Bye, remember that sisters. video. Rather than pump up the vine. Mm -hmm. Do you remember the song Bring Me Edelweiss? It's like a song. Wait, I remember the song Edelweiss. No, 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 not the, um, not the, the sound, sound of music. Of, Get out of here. Get out. The sound of music. No, it was like an 80s like dance song. Was so when like you this? really love me, you should bring me Edelweiss. No, like that. that's, that's S.O.S. by Alba that you just sang. You went, so if you love Baby, you should bring me. No, nah, it's bring me advice. That is what you just said. So if you love me, baby, you Someone's should bring from me Edelweiss. Okay, here we go. This is how you answer the question. <laughs> so when you near me, darling, can't you hear me? Edelweiss. Do, 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 do. When you're gone. You better be coming back with someone. I mean, that's I think you just made that up. After after we're done with this, it's just the wrong shirt. Yeah, after we're done with this, I'm gonna sit you down and you're gonna listen to the song. No, and you're gonna love it. I'm gonna be like this when you go. Don't put it on. You're gonna stretch it out. No, you've already stretched it out. I even try oh, to put it in the garbage. <laughs> put it in the garbage. Forget about it, people. Stink oh, like now your, I smell it's like... going to stink like your Eddie Vedder incense. <laughs> Would uh. you ask the people a question? They, were, they wanted you to ask them a question. See, look at your... This shirt's so emo, Bob. This shirt's hey, kinda, how about... I was going to say... Do you, how about give us your top 10 thread list, please? Maybe? Okay. <laughs> I mean, I didn't write anything else, so yes. Well, I wanted to hear your top ten of something, and so maybe that's all it's going to be. No, do get, tell him to do that. Because it could be oh, a top, that's... it could be your top ten favorite records, your top ten favorite foods, your top ten favorite threadless tees, wink, wink, or your top ten least oh, favorite sorry, something, your eye. top ten Whoops. least favorite threadless Whoops. employees, for instance. Your top ten least favorite, um... What are you doing? Get... Oh, see? Oh, this is perfect because I was just... Oh. You were just going to oh. talk about how great... So, now, oh. uh, you guys, we should get a... Um... Bob, are you going to sign the book for Blaylock? No, I'm not going to sign the book. It's... The, the, the book is perfect. It was perfect as is, no, but now, now you're jacking better. around with it. Now it's better. All right. So yeah, I want to know your top tens. And you know what? I am. I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick my favorites. You're gonna pick your top ten favorite. You're gonna. Oh, you're gonna no. pick your top ten favorite thread listies. No, no, no. Here, I'll sign this book for him, okay? No, don't sign it for me. That's worse. I'm gonna send this to. So who is this going to? You are Unbelievable, Who's this going sir. To? Who's this going to? Dear Garbage Can. No, thanks who's for this letting going me in. To? Dear Man, Dumpster. Bob, you write like a girl. Look at what Bob just wrote on the inside of this book. It's so weird. And then there's mine. It's so weird, huh? Well, congratulations. Uh, What's going on to all here? Of our People winners are taking today. photos. I don't know. We'll Not look. taking them above Hey, us. we're still recording, Bob, so... Oh, um, I know. Um, we'll, people need to see the crazy... Do we want to show people the snow, too? Well, 
Yeah, sure. Well, no, I can't show it now because there are people here. Well, yeah, but we'll you can just go sort of see them. the snow. Come on. See if you can get the, the drift in the corner. Oh, do you want me to just go to the end of the airstream? Yeah, I think so. Okay, this this is just like a bonus part. So if you're a replay, you don't have to keep watching, but um, you you can. You get points if you do. You get you don't get From points. Me. Bob's points they're worth about as much as our budget. All right. Uh, if you see through the doors, you can see that the snow. You can't see it very well. The drift in the corner. Yeah, it's not. You in can't. That other corner. What other corner? You are <laughs> trying to drive me crazy. Um, here, I, I I'll just take you outside. Oh, the atrium. Hmm? I I haven't. I've got all bars. Oh, will you come hold this door? Or will you let me back in, Mary? Okay, I'm taking you all outside. Oof. So, there is some serious frigging snow. Uh, over here. No joke. Um, oh, and then here, look, you can see the, um, the front of the building with all the snow in front of it. Uh, and then over here, oh, it's not warm, guys. Uh, let's see. Um, front of the building. And then my personal favorite, the snake is still up a tree. Okay. Um, I'm going to stop the recording now, but, uh. Thanks for hanging out with us today and watching the show. Thank you, Mary. Um, and, uh, yeah. Woo! It's cold out there. Uh, we'll see you next week.